What's up, YouTube? Double Eighty here. Um, doing a quick comparison from the uh, the Robots in the Skies Bumblebee and the first edition Bumblebee. Once again, I believe the first edition figure is a way better figure. <clears throat> the only thing I like a little bit better on the Robots in the Skies is the doors are slightly smaller. They're not as big, but the rest of the figure is crap, so I'll put up with bigger doors. As you can see, this whole section, there's like an auto gear thing and this horrible part of the car flipped up. This one doesn't really have that. This one doesn't really have a backpack either. I really like that. This one, I mean, it's not too bad. It's decent, but still got a little backpack. But it's not all too bad. Um, Bumblebee's lights are painted where... There's no paint. The rims are painted. No paint. Um, as far, I think, as the lines on the car, like the stripes for the hood and stuff, it's pretty much the same. He has the yellow blinkers. He doesn't. Sorry, let me turn my flash on so you can see. Um, he does come with two blasters. He only comes with one, even though I have two on my figure. Um, <clears throat> I think his face mold is a lot better, too. It sort of looks the same, but I don't know, that dark gray just... I don't know, you kind of see the eyes better. But, I don't know why Hasbro did what they did, but... I believe they messed up. I don't know about you guys, but... I really think they messed up big time. They should have just stuck with these figures and kept them coming. But some non-Transformer fan up in Hasbro that thought they knew what they were doing made a decision, obviously. All right, let me know what you guys think. Take it easy.